I'm back and it's time for some real education. Today it's wee oui, wee oui, as we look at the work of Jean-Baptiste Carpeau, who was a French sculptor and painter who lived and worked during the Second Empire under Napoleon III and who was inspired by Michelangelo's works. We're looking specifically at Carpeau's Ugolino and his sons, a sculpture made in the middle of the 19th century. The sculpture was inspired by Dante's Inferno and is actually a derivation from Canto 33. If you want to see Ugolino and his sons in person, you you just have to go to the Met in New York City. Yeah, and show the picture, Mike. This the 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 sculptor Carpo, who was one of the most important sculptors of the 19th century. This particular statue actually won a, a, a award, first prize award at a World Fair for sculpture. So he a very important picture and as uh, a, a sculpture. And as Katie mentioned, this statue is in the Metropolitan Museum of Art in Manhattan. I've seen it there many times. It really is quite arresting. And if you watch the Dr. Duke show, you may remember a few weeks ago we did a, a sculpture of Leao Kuan, right? That great ancient story, sculpture that was dug up in the Renaissance about a priest of, of Troy be, and his two sons being swallowed up by snakes. And if you go back to the image, you will see this, this beautiful tangle of bodies. And the story requires telling. Who is Ugolino, the father there? You can see the father gnawing his very fingers and his children at of various ages clinging to him after they've been locked and bolted into a dungeon where they are being starved to death. It's a horrible story that appears first in Dante's Divine Comedy, 1265 to 1321. Dante wrote this about 13, uh, 1300 or so. And in the, one of the very lowest levels of hell, the 32nd canto of Dante's Inferno, right at the very bottom where betrayers of family are actually punished. It's a very serious, one of the most serious sins in all of the, can, of the Divine Comedy. Uh, we hear the story of Roger, Bishop Roger, Bishop, Bishop Ruggieri, Bishop Roger, and Count Ugolino, who you just saw there. And the story goes that the two of them were partners in crime. They conspired against other people. They conspired against the other political party of Florence. They caused a lot of trouble. And when they both had achieved their evil end, Bishop Roger betrayed Count Ugolino. He turned on his partner and locked Ugolino and his sons in a tower dungeon. Take a look again. And so there is the moment when Dante tells the horrifying story. One by one, the children died. One by one. One of his children even went to the father and said to him, Daddy, Daddy, eat me. Seeing the, sorry, the sorrow in the father's face, the absolute helplessness of Count Ugolino to do anything for his children. And that's the moment that Dante captured really well. Uh, and Carpo captures it here beautifully. Those children clinging to their father. And it's not even the, uh, he's gnawing his fingers, but he's not gnawing them out of hunger, which you would think. He's gnawing them out of absolute grief of the fact that he is their dad and he can do nothing for them. And the, 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 the sculpture work here is fantastic. All of the, um, this is, was one solid block of marble and out of it, he carves this tangled, horrifying, it's almost kind of an anti-pieta, isn't it? This horrible, horrible story of sin and death. What happened was in the lowest levels of hell, it's ice, not fire, right? The sinners are frozen, they're not burned. And what happens is, is that there are two heads sticking up out of the ice. Everything from neck down is frozen. One skull, one, one head is the head of Ugolino, and right here is the head of Roger, right? And in hell forever, Ugolino has gnawed through the skull of Roger and is eating his brains. When Dante and Virgil get down there, they see the starved to death Count Ugolino chewing on the brain pan of his enemy, the man who locked him away, that is. And it's a hideous, horrible lesson that Dante here. Here's the description of it when he first sees them. I saw two shades frozen in a single hole, packed so close, one head hooded, the other one the way the starving devour their bread, the soul above had clenched the other with his teeth where the brain meets the nape. And we have also have a, 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 a short passage of what Ugolino suffered when his children, according to the Inferno, Dante's Inferno, when his killed children called out to him, father our pain, they said, will lessen if you eat us, 
You are the one who clothed us with this wretched flesh. We plead for you to be the one who strips us away. How much harder must have that have been for the father to have those children offering themselves to him to sustain his own life? It's a horrible situation and a great piece of sculpture. 